Oh, hi, it's all fine, Pen and welcome you back to Let's Badly Dub Phoenix Ready to Tony. It's time for a favorite game. Yeah, not, not really my favorite case. But it is fun in some points, but yes, I'm not really. There's one, at least one good part in the case, and unfortunately, we're not gonna see it now. Yeah. Rise from the fucking ashes. This case was made to show the DS capabilities. That's basically it. That soon will make sense in due time. Ah, oh, this music. Ugh. I mean, some of the tracks are actually pretty okay. Yeah, no. But. I, then we're just gonna be hearing them a lot, but I like this track though. Yeah. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. That office, but that I took. That is, uh, until the day that girl showed up. Into my life. <laughs> February 22nd, 10 02 a.m. Right in Cola offices. Why do I come here to office today office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! Uh who are you? Doesn't matter who I am! It only matters who you are! You're the famous defense attorney, me a fake! Uh, oh, uh. You're not me a fake, are you? I'm sorry, but this is me a fake. No longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? Um, Phoenix, right. The defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're D Phoenix, right? D Phoenix right from the Edgeward murder case? Oh um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered though. That's a relief, man. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking any cases right now. Well, you're Phoenix right, right? <laughs> the undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! A lot of time! But Please, after all, it's my sister. <laughs> Maya, could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. Yes, really? Thank you so much. My name is Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Like the sound of that. Scientific investigator? Emma, was it? So, you were a scientific investigator. Yes! That's right! Is something wrong? No, it's just, you seem kind of, uh, jumpy. Or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year! Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensic in three more years! My work is becoming quite well known! At my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. So, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow. My sister didn't do it! If you wouldn't stab someone with a knife, she wouldn't! So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. J just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring me a frame, but... That's interesting. 
I want you to know Mia. So you wanted to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then. Excuse me? I'm not a child, I love you know. Still, it's good to have a goal. That'd be a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. I sure can't falter for that lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name won't be clear. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when it's done. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. But first, I'd like to know her relation to Mia. My sister asked for her specifically. Mia Faye was a few years before in school. So she went to the same school as Mia. I always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a decent supporting. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Mia. Yeah, I thought it was a little strange when I saw you too. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Eh. Mm. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, she's a raider. Huh? Well, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? She died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, now that's out of the way. Well, I guess we're I going first, to the detention Look at my attorney's badge! Or... See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah! Well! I've never seen a real one before. <laughs> He's never seen a real one before. He's <laughs> gonna take it out of context. <laughs> You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. <laughs> His composition is mostly silver. The green plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I'd give you fifty dollars for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. Now let's go to the detention center. <laughs> She's never seen a real one before. In his room! The dead center. In his room! I wonder what's wrong with him. She got quiet all of a sudden, as soon as we arrived. Sorry. Well, that's, that's a very low voice. So, so, so sorry, ma'am. It's just your own sister. No excuse. Or did you not want to raise this year, hmm? Uh, understood, ma'am. What, what, what was that? What was that all about? Hi, Lana. Um, I seem to remember specifically telling you not to call me. Perhaps my memory is telling. Look, I didn't want to call you either, okay? After trials tomorrow, and they still don't have a defense authority. This has nothing to do with you. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how did you know me? You yeah, mentioned it. Never quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what is exactly is that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Scott. I'm chief prosecutor for this system. And you're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Ryan? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect. The suspect is. I mean, I did. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't 
you begin by telling me exactly what happened? Burned took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite a specific. Uh, it was in the winter system's closer to me. But Miss Clary saw me connecting with the key. Uh, my. That was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. On the rest on the spot. My, my. So, who's the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Then the people was a bug. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does this mean? Well, it means. The police department was a considerate man of pride to have been found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learned. So, you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutor and district attorney. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do their job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. I think you recognize the district chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible, wouldn't it? Well, why not? What happened to your hand? I did. I took my foot back, so I stabbed her back. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal. I'm supposed to defend this. Chimes changed the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of me, wasn't she? Um, you were in the school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Hmm. And I told you that too, didn't she? Well, well, why not? I did drag him all the way from his office. Very little in common with me. Hey! You know what? It was. I liked her hair, and she was auditing the book. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She took anything to become a defensive. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted. Intellectually attractive. Well, that was top of her class in school. Oh. I'm doing pretty school, going in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Um, sorry. I excuse me. As you can plainly see, I'm admitting guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. No. But, but Lila! You, you were always this way, weren't you? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, why didn't you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I hate you, Lana! Hmm. 
Yeah, yes. I believe on this ocean here is it. The rest are the figure. Hmm. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't close any people over. Your client must confess now. Case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Anna has confessed to her crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what. It's gonna take a very long time to do this. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm just having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple and scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Uh, okay! Yeah, let's do that. Oh, new area time. New area. And potential to that one uh, discussion about ladders. Oh no, not this shit again. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. <laughs> it's underground. Underground. Who's doing that voice, by the way? Uh, uh, we'll figure out later. Yeah. So this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone! Hey everyone! <laughs> Keep up the good work! Hey everyone! Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers 30 years from now, after all. You are not saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to be examining crime scenes. I'm trying to not stand out too much here, see? Uh, hey there! No. Expecting thing to go on notice here, partner? Yeah. That's you, by the way. Uh. Partner? What do we have here? Looks like a bambina let loose from the ranch and is up to go good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. M Mr. Marshall! Marshall looks like looks more like a sheriff to me. Look here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? I think I think I should be the voice for this one. Honestly. Then let's you want? Ones. Yeah, that, let's work for her. Strike? This is our territory. And the gold mine is evidence. Fixing the mess with what the fuck's on, so you great partner. You know my dreams, the, the cacti out of the desert dream. You want to? What's this guy talking about? Man, hey, hello now. Happy trail, baby. Was that a uh, mm. hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West and shit? People that just like, ugh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm heading it over to the police. I don't believe it! This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene has evidence. Let's be scientific about this, thing. Right? <laughs> just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? It sounds like theft to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was... I, I thought about that, too. I'm called to duty already. I'm on my time to read. 
Here, I'll teach you the trick in examining evidence. Here you go, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting. It's for time for DS features. Okay, okay now. Look at the court record. Yep. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. I don't really have to. Except you really don't need to. Yeah. Oh look! I think there might be a clue there. Check it out. Press the examine button. Can I examine you? Instead? Break the fourth wall. This, this is an ID card. Detective Proof is good. Man. ID number 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. No, I don't see what sci scientists. Science! Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence in time. I guess I got to be on my toes from now on. Also, I guess I examine that security thing up there. Look! A stylish glass wall room! Very nice! You can see the whole parking lot in from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe? Huh? Cafe security! Yeah, that must be it. No. Let's check it out later! No, I hate to bring it to you, but I think that's probably just the security guard office. You know, I scored the 97 on my science test the other day. That explains the 3%. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Should I? It's up to you, I'm not yeah. forcing you. Aha! A ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? <laughs> scientific terms, please. S -s scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Hyde. See, this all seems so horribly familiar somehow. You know what I think? I don't even think we did that scene with Maya. I think we... I yes, think we I, did. Did we? Huh. It was in case three. I don't remember, I got to reject that. Well, no time to waste. Let's get everything for photos. Hmm, wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you've got no intention of going home quietly. <laughs> Sheriff, like I said before, this is awkward. You best be posing along. Unless you're fixing the bite for me. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who buys that red Mustang with the body in her saddle kit? Please! No problem, partner. About time for a bit of luxury. Get yourself to the saloon at the 12th, on the 12th floor in the prospector's office. Find just you find a cafe that you like. Prospector's office. Cerveza? We're going for beer? What did for that matter? Note to self, look up Bill's Saloon Cerveza. Now, maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor's Office. In any case, stay away from the cop. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our plate. Right. Great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Except we already did. Excuse me. Are you two all set? Us? Oh. What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling launches here? This is a crime scene. Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, yes. Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. 
this area is off limit to anyone without clearance, especially passers by. Or are you officers? Um, no, but you don't exactly look like the type of have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if I days at the Kofa Queen are over. Kofa, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on one. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? A witness to an Arizona committing a crime. You mean the other witness my sister was talking about? Please, Kava Queen, tell us what happened. Setting Central Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you deleted. <laughs> no, wait, wrong game. Wrong game. Yes, ma'am. She means it. That is not what it says on the script. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is Salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know that. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil one who hunt this den of iniquity. The evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocent. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. He got an award of King of Prosecutors. What a fart. So she's saying... There was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. <laughs> you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is this some kind of scientific evidence, Miss uh, Evil? Young Miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll so find all why they call me the Cuffa Queen. Gonna delete your files. Yeah. <laughs> the most heinous one of all, the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday, it was in this car that they found the body. Prove that they devours the evilest lunch of all. Really? It really was. I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lady, lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. <laughs> Cough up, queen. No shit. Cough up, queen. But spitters are quitters, though. <laughs> she coughs it up. So exactly what is that you witness, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. Yuri was stabbing herself. I know, <laughs> I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. Get your eyes off of there. It was truly a sight to see. <laughs> you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to the world being truly cut. Sting rings in my ears, and the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm. Of course, it's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. I mean, lunch boxes of sin did she pack to make that journey? I wonder. She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? 
first, let's talk about you. Um, can we ask you a bit about yourself this time? I come here every day to sell lunch and delete files. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the last box lunches are a hit here. <laughs> Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? Want me to delete you? <laughs> no! <laughs> only true connoisseurs can understand. Avert your eyes from there. <laughs> Else I'll give you some thrill a bite. Oh, shit. Uh, never mind. Come on. I don't even want to appreciate part of a thrill bite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunch. My boyfriend works in the security room at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth. I saw my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop him to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available, or you must start all lunch vendors and no pay the money for coming. Useful analysis. Not. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sensed some um, hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. <laughs> kind of like ten days old clam in the chowder. Like, like right here. It smells like ten days. Charm. Want me to delete you? No, 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 I'm... I wonder if this star was some... some sort of legal trouble with that. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning! Scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, cough on point. I thought she was just... just a lunch vendor. But now I'm not so sure. In any case, let's, uh, move up to the High Prosecutor's office. Yeah. Sure, no one's important there. No. Oh, wait. <laughs> February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or something there. A trophy? What, that shield? Hey, feel nerd to display stuff like this. Whoever's office is, this is, there must be a real <laughs> stuck of dirt. Mr. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. <sighs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! You, you know him from somewhere? Oh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister and his best smart fan! Right, her sister was a chief prosecutor after all. Well? Well? <laughs> well what brings you here? <laughs> I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck up bird. No, then I... Uh, no! It was just... just the right here, hey. hey, don't blame me! We're just here to investigate the murder case! Murder? The body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be my car. What of it? What? Your car? I'll say one thing. She can certainly can't scream. Some boy's gonna love to have her for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> this video's been flagged. <laughs> so the body was found in your car. 
Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no? No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who said that. Wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, hmm? Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You really grow. Eyes up here, Edward. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What did you say? Well, and this guy is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edward! Oh, great. To, <sighs> to be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when thing when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, reading false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence and in the was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current sin. The one? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Possible to stop. Uh. Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's fun. Toys? That bronze shield? There's still gotta be a there's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. <clears throat> it was my first big case. That's right. I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did you stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? Mr. Edward, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the two books in the trunk of my car. <laughs> Jump in my car. Um, Edward. What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Mm. Come on, can you take a joke? <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Yes, I do. I think I'm you have so, to examine the shield. I'm such a jerk. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's the king of prosecutors, Trophy. <laughs> king of prosecutors? It's a great honor. Send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for K? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Baka. I didn't design the thing. 
being a prosecutor. I don't like only the play of the month. Only better. King of Prosecutors Trophy added to the court record. Ah, great. I wanna examine this. Hold on a second. Wow! This packet is even looser than his usual. This must be his lucky title jacket. Lucky jacket. Right. I've never seen a word. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. Just getting way too excited about this. This will be referred in the third game. Let's check something with this knife. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edward cut himself peeling it out. What's Edward doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekend roughing it in the wild. <laughs> Edgeworth, in the wild? I think my fruit peelings theory is more like. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoors man. Now, there's a scary thought. <laughs> my god. I don't think there's any other point of it. Alright. Um, I have to present this to him. Yeah, the mumbles and So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? <laughs> you can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? What's that? I had to go to the police department. Ceremony to receive that broken The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering about something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I have more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Hmm. Yes, let's ask about yesterday. Right. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort all, sort and file all evidence for solved case. We call it evidence transfer. Why do you handle cases in other words? Oh, another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review, an award for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday. I got back here at 5 Well, That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edward pride ourselves on our precision, right? No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Yeah, the parking stub. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after he got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. <laughs> uh. Um. Excuse me, but is it Mr. Edward anywhere on the. Hi, Edward. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Find the evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. 
Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. None of this report, sir. <clears throat> I think I just heard Edward's lid blow. Mr. Edward's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department. Did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring anything unrelated. Sir, but, uh, sir, I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I was unaware of particular. Give me your name. Uh, yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. But, sir, I didn't know! Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day when they gave out brains and good luck. Right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Agh! He caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave. <laughs> this is still what he says, Mr. Wright. Indeed. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to finally calm down at least. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's lunch time. <laughs> February twenty second, police department entrance. The lowliest of department. <laughs> Woo! We're finally here. Why oh, they put the detectives so far away from the prosecutors? Off. That took almost thirty minutes by taxi. The traffic wasn't even that bad. It's my first time to the police police department, actually. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? More showing of the DS capability. Disturbing! Why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Oh, Mr. Wright, you thought about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. I got the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh oh, he noticed me. You sure he's running over here fast? <laughs> hey, 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 pal, what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you, who are you dancing over there? What? Uh, um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, hey, hey I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. <laughs> uh, good old Gumshoe. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and uh, she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Uh, yes, well, uh, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against him. But what? What if the evidence was weak? Hey, pal. Uh, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Oh, whoa! Oh, that, look, the chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, you might want to keep your voice still. You don't want to be overheard using words like faint. Huh? Uh, it's just. It's a sensitive issue with us these days. 
ceremony detective don't you of course pal i got an award for intelligence myself ah congratulations i was wondering why is the award a shield and why is it broken oh there's a reason um i'll tell you what it is later apparently he's forgot but i was proud of mr edgeworth what do you think he's even got naysayers and got prosecutors on this yeah we've heard about the rumors Speaking of rumors, let's talk about that. Where's that law? Uh, he's in the top spot again. Again? Well, it all started with that murder of that defense attorney, Hammer. 
I knew Jordan was falling in this thing. Listen now, as I've always been rumored as mother, forging evidence, making deal with witnesses, nothing all right, but there was always whispering in the news. Ever since he, ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. What? But there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, it was a has always had unusually strong ties to the department hierarchs. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new group. People say the only reason he took this case is because his name was the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth now. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this all for all of us. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. much. It's crazy. Let's talk about that blue badger, though. Nah, it's not. <laughs> uh, wasn't wondering about that. What? The fancy blue badger? It's my masterpiece. Uh, you made this detective film show? The chief threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, but... Nice work. It's battery powered, so it could go anywhere. There's no switch. It just dances and dances and dances until the battery's dead. The badger? He did dance till he drops. <laughs> Added to the court record as the blue badger. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is, uh, what's his name? The guy in the parking lot. Uh, that would be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's a, just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Uh, look pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show him this, and I'll give you a, let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Letter of introduction. Hey. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Uh, just like Deck, you're supposed to be there. You know, I would look at you twice now. <laughs> Alright, so now we got okay, that. Okay, let's go examine us a crime scene. Let's, let's go examine us a crime scene. Yeah. Did, 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 does this crimes become me? Looks like the investigation is still going. <laughs> I have to get getting back to the shop. Oh no, I'm, I'm that's me. <laughs> Sorry. Look, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit until the sun sleeps. I see you in my dreams, not the baby. Oh, still here? Uh, uh, hello. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend criminal at first, too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its hood. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. But, I have a piece of paper to shove it in your face. <laughs> yeah. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warned you. Fan letters go right into the Splatoon. It's a letter from the introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Be we investigate. Gumshoe, uh, that old cow dog? He's uh, holding a birthday party or something. Huh? Look, where it should say a letter introduction, it says invitation. Uh, I think he just miswrote it. Great Detective Gumshoe, I owe you one. Uh, no worries. This proves this from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I bet you let you in there. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Well, Officer Marshall isn't a detective. He's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't the crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or iron? Well, folks, the clues are called. Welcome to our gold strap. Be like a cell, strike out for the land of the Manifest destiny, let's have an hope man. Help the cell. Police investigations are like silly. 
Pulling this right? What do you say? I said it wouldn't be needed this time. Crumpled and discarded. But we have, uh, some questions to ask him. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the thing? Chief Prospector Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one of the reasons why he didn't do so much at work with the Chief Prospector. But my sister called the victim in on the day of the murder, right? Here. This parking lot? So it seems. It's like calling an unarmed, unarmed man to shoot at a high knee. It's high knee. Um, I don't mean it in offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? I don't think. Call me out. They shoot you in that text. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives until two years ago. Oh, really? Oh, now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now. Oh, you're in charge of a crime. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing gets. <laughs> Sorry. I'll throw it for Opai to get back his comfort. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing gets by you, does Sorry, this is making it really did not sound that well when it came out of you. So, so why are you in charge? No reason. We're just showing our hands right now. I'm keeping an eye on you. That's sad, though. Like the Gumshaw was saying, he had nothing to do. Nothing important in that place. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tape. Maybe it's because he runs with that edge. Caldon's been kicked out of the creek that this, this cattle run by the order of the chief of police. He just don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? That's crazy to him. That's crazy. But now that I've talked to all of that, now we can investigate. Excuse me, sir. While I investigate this. The phone. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belong to the victim. I can't think of anyone else that could be okay. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Yeah. Right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hmm. Is this place still on the redial button? Redial. Uh, it's the right. I was supposed to keep a record of all the calls you've made that day. Just press the blue button to dial the last number you found. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to, Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know things about, like, redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a phone. I just never know with people from your generation. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just take this phone out. Technically, Phoenix is younger than a Gamma. Now I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, the defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. This is a dumb move, by the way. 
Oh. Hey, that song! I know that! Hey, what's going on over there? Uh, oh, uh, so sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed the redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It wasn't the promo or Whose is it? That that belongs to Chief Prospect Scott. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody. Right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing the call stop. Expect except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry. Now I got a question for you. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those, those new fangled ring tunes. Oh, that. Oh, uh. I'm sorry. That was my phone. But what? What? Your phone? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we pick up the other phone. Uh, wrong number. Mm, I hope you're not lying. They shoot you in that Texas partner. Were you about to say they shoot you in <laughs> them? <laughs> <laughs> they shoot you for that in Texas, partner. <laughs> uh oh, I have incited the wrath of Lone Star Patrol. Uh, oh, wait, no, not for cent. I don't want to accept. This is... Not yet. Uh... Oh, wait, not yet, you mean? I mean, don't present yet. I know. Uh, well, I guess you can do. So, there is no connection between the victim and my sister. Uh, that's correct. Well, there's a gold mine of evidence against you. The prospect of tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is beside the many, uh, many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, baby. How can you say that? And my sister, where? Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? <clears throat> I apologize, baby. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe that drive wind is applied through that prospector's arm. Oh, shit. <laughs> drive wind or will? Will, someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Evidence, arranging testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you'll find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina? It's your sister. Chief Prospector of Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't wrestle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What? You say Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? When there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old times said. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they talk at him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Uh, that's not good. But now I want to examine this trunk. Yeah, you could have checked that before, actually. Yeah, I, I kind of lost track. Is it? I kind of lost track of what you said. Yup, they laid it in the outline of the victim's body. Uh, so wait, the victim was have died when the killer pulls the trunk on him. Mm, you've got to be the only person I know that would come up with that conclusion. Oh shit. I think you can check the barrels of water on the other side. That's true. I know it looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy! 
It's even bolder. The drum over there is on its side. Hey, I know. I'll have them here at the mistake out. I don't think you'll probably you just get arrested. In fact, you might even have to hide in the trunk to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Uh, I don't know about that, but... Examine the trunk, though. What's this? It looks like a note of some sort. Look! Something's written on it! I remember this shit. <sighs> You're right. Let's see. 6-7-S. 12... Divided by two. I don't know the answer to this. <laughs> no name printed on the paper about the gunman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. But also, what does it mean, Mister Wright? How am I supposed to know? Self for Detective Greenway. Go to Edward. Not right. I'm sure Edward wouldn't know what this means either. So, well, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think it will be okay? Well, the only thing that's still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes? I know that song you... Your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Still Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids. <laughs> that phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours. At 5:18, um, just after a murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she? Emma? I. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what? talked about? Hey, she hung up right away. I see. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Oh god, no we don't. And yes, everyone, you've seen the length of this. Oh boy! Yeah, this was just this was just part one. This, of this is case. just the first part. And yes, There's, mostly uh, all, most all these parts in this case is gonna be near or even over one hour. Yep. So, so also, there's like ten parts. Yes, and trials and also the trials can take over an hour as well so yeah this is gonna to be, be a... honest this whole case is almost bigger than the rest of the game <laughs> pretty much it takes i mean i replayed this case like a while back and it took me forever to get through it uh, but anyways thank you for watching and yes again most of these parts are going to be like one hour long. We apologize, but yeah, that's how it's going to be. So stay Can't tuned. be helped, unfortunately. <laughs> See you guys next time. See you for the trial. See you guys then.